hello welcome to my youtube channel so today we're going to learn how to cut this jacket right here yes so if you are yet to subscribe to my channel hit the subscribe button and turn your notification bell on so when i drop my videos you'll be notified i'll be using a chalk or a tape or a ruler and um, of course here is a measurement we're using a shoulder measurement of 17 Bust chest measurement of 39 and um, the full length of the jacket will be using 28. Alright, so I folded this fabric into two as you can see. Yeah, so the next thing I'm going to do is to Fold it, you know. Well first, let's confirm to see if the length we have is enough for us. Okay, the length is enough. So I'm marking it at 29. That is plus two inches hemming allowance. All right, so I'm going to remove that hemming allowance. We're going to cut out the excess. Yes. So all we have is. 29 there plus 2 inches hemming allowance so I'll mark the end of it so as to reduce the X to cut out the excess So the next thing we'll do is to fold the fabric. This folding now is taking care of the overlapping in front. You know, if we see how a jacket is, the 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 front piece is usually with an allowance. For the overlapping so just watch i'm going to drop a video on how this is going to be stitched how we're going to sew it so please ensure to watch that video so many things you understand much more better when you watch the video all right but this allowance here when we are stitching this waistcoat we turn this allowance inside and then we'll just attach line into it to complete the front piece so please do ensure to watch the video i'll be dropping the video on how to stitch this in a matter of days so we are removing a three quarter inch allowance there that will serve as the overlapping for our button all right that will serve as the overlapping for our button so join it today the help of a straight rule So I'm going to remove this front, this front pattern, and we'll remove it in block form. What we're looking at now is the wideness of the chest. That's the chest measurement, and the chest measurement is nine and a half. That is, we we'll divide thirty nine by four. That is nine three quarter rather, and we're adding an allowance of one inch, full one inch allowance is what we are adding okay. so that is nine three quarter plus one inch I'll give us nine three quarter that's the allowance we are removing from there so we'll join that with a straight line
hope it's clear you can see the line the next thing is want to slant the shoulder I will slant it in by 4 inches from the shoulder line we'll slant the shoulder in by 4 inches so that's 4 inches I'm marking right there so we use our ruler to join it to the front line So the next thing for us to do is to cut out the front block so that we can easily cut out cut the back piece and um, apply our measurements for the shipping. And the back piece is actually going to be a lining, alright? And the back piece is going to be a lining, a soup lining. That's what we're using for the back piece. Let's take note. You can choose to use the lining outside or the same fabric outside and the lining inside on the back piece but I personally this one I did I used purely the lining behind. Yeah. So this is the front block. This half inch I marked in front here is actually our overlapping for the bottom. Please take note. And watch carefully how I'm going to cut the back piece. Watch what I'm going to do with this um, front three quarter inch allowance I gave you for the bottom. I'm going to give a notch so as to identify the front, the center rather. So this is our lining I'll be using for the back piece. So watch carefully how I am going to fold this lining. Okay. Our first. I will first measure and get the exact size I have here, excluding this three quarter inch allowance from the front here for the button. Just watch carefully. And you see, after marking the exact allowance I have, that I'm going to apply it on this lining so as to know how exactly to fold it. So that waist could be fold it into two. Like I said, we're using 10. 3 quarter so 10 3 quarter plus 10 3 quarter will give you 21 and a half so i am folding this first by 21 and a half that's how i folded it into two by 21 and a half i'm using my pins there to pin it so that when i'm folding for the second time the lining won't scatter that is why i'm using these pins to hold the lining in place such that when I'm folding the last time, the lining won't scatter. All in all, the lining I'll be folding it into four layers. I'll fold it into two. I'll fold for the second time. That will become what? Four layers. Please take note. So after putting these pins carefully, I'm going to fold it again. This is for the second time. Thereby making it four layers very important so I'll bring our front piece now watch carefully how I'm going to place this front piece look at this three quarter inch allowance I, I marked for the front here for the bottom it's not going to be to form part of the lining for the back piece you can see the way I kept it I kept it excluding this three quarter inch allowance here look at it this three quarter inch allowance here I've kept it in excluding it from the back piece. See the, the lining from the back piece is not getting to this three quarter inch. It's very important, alright? Take note of that. Because that is my overlapping for the button. That's a button allowance. So we are going to cut out our lining. So we'll cut the shoulder part first. Then we will slant it in. We'll shift it in by four inches all right see even as i'm shifting i'm watching my allowance the three quarter inch allowance is not entering it's not for me part of the lining at the back so we have given the lining difference of four 
inches so you can now fold it into the front please watch carefully at this point it is as almost the same thing with the natives senator native we cut every day so i'm not going to be talking much here Next is for us to apply our measurements. All right. Let's see, just still watch. This is where our back piece is ending. The mark I kept there so that we we'll know exactly where to start taking our measurement. And you divide 17 by 2, you will have 8 and a half plus half inch seam allowance. 8 and a half plus half inch seam allowance plus 9. All right. Shoulder arm is simply shoulder divided by two. So if we divide shoulder, which is 17 by two, you have eight and a half. We are going to minus one inch from that eight and a half. Using So I want to have it using seven there. Minus one and a half, which is using seven. So the chest measurement, mind we say is nine and a half. Look at it there. So we we'll extend our measurement of our shoulder, which is eight inches downwards to get a straight line so as to cover our arm i've made several videos on how to cover an arm okay so please if you don't know how to cover an arm please i will not be going through that now check my channel there's a video there i did on how to get your arm perfectly curved if you watch it you will not have any challenge at all with curving arm That is one inch I've marked there. I've marked one inch into the arm and um, also one and a half inches above the chest line there. So next is for us to extend this chest measurement down. It's it's not going to carry any form of shaping, fitting, because it's actually a free jacket. a free jacket so yeah even the neck I have a video on how to get your perfect neck this we're going to we're using is a neck of 16 inches so we are using four inches deep by two inches wide I've done a video on how to locate your neck perfectly the neckline perfectly so if you want to know how to locate the neckline perfectly please the video is in my videos please check it out and you will not have any issue with locating the neck but this is a neck of 16 so we mark four inches deep by two inches wide if we cut that you will get your 16 accurately so we'll be extending this chest line down look at my allowance here it's the not part of the back piece so you see let's watch i'm cutting it so the same chest measurement we use we apply it all the way down 
because like i said it's a free jacket it's not fitted it's free all right so what we do now is to slant the front piece half inch deeper than the back piece watch carefully i'm not cutting out plus the back piece it's just the front piece i'm deepening in you can see clearly now all right almost done so go ahead to cut out the neck be careful not to cut out together with the back piece please be very careful very careful at this point so like i said i'm going to drop the video on how to stitch this all right so please if you're yet to subscribe subscribe when i'm stitching this you will understand much more better all right you might be a bit lost with this cutting but when i'm stitching you will understand this a little more much more better so please don't miss out on the stitching aspect ensure to subscribe and turn your notification bell on so when i drop a video on how to stitch this you'll be notified you see the length of this jacket is 17 is 27 this is our excess um hemming allowance all right so thank you so much welcome to my channel thanks for watching